Hi everybody, it's Nick. Hope you are all keeping well and safe. So I wanted to talk today about uh, the reality of lockdown easing and what it means. And um, it's quite interesting. So there's been three times in my life when I've been forced to effectively step out the rat race. And we always think of the rat race, don't we, in terms of a career. But I'm not sure that's true. I think for me, a rat race is, is anything that... Um, forces us to be in a position where we are rushing from one thing to the other and we just have so much to fit in that we're not really present in the moment because we're, we're constantly thinking about the next thing we need to do and it's quite a it's quite a stressful existence so the first two times I stepped out of the rat race um, I was actually stepping out away from a career the first was um, when I had personal depression after my uh, third child my daughter the second time was when my menopause started. I had quite an early uh, and severe start to my menopause, which I do now get um, support for. And the third time has been this lockdown. And what's been really interesting is that um, the first two times, postnatal depression and menopause, you know, psychologically it was like, oh, you know, something's happened to me. I'm, I'm not very well. Therefore, I'll take some time out. But uh, it was always about you know, getting better and effectively going back to whatever defined the rat race for me at that point in my life. So, although I would say, yeah, you know, I, I, I sat in discomfort and I definitely grew and I definitely learned from both um, of those experiences when, you know, I really wasn't feeling very well and wasn't able to engage in everyday life in, you know, I mean, I say normal, what is normal? You know, we can question what normal is, but in, in the same way I would normally have, um, you know, there was always the fact that I knew I was going to go back to it. You know, it was a temporary transitional phase. And the thing about lockdown, it was, um, it wasn't just me, it was everybody. There was, was nothing actually wrong with me. And, you know, you really, I don't know if anybody else has been through this, but, you know, there's been some, it's been a real roller coaster of that, you know, initial really storming, uh, adrenaline pumping, changing very quickly, getting things in place, getting ahead around what it meant, to real dips of, oh my Lord, uh, how am I gonna cope with this? To uh, real stress, real anxiety, real periods of um, great discomfort. Eventually, as it's gone on, um, what I've actually found is that I've really, really learned to sit with myself. And there hasn't been this underlying psychological thing of oh you know when I'm better I will go back to life as it was before because actually there's been nothing wrong with me effectively um and and it's really interesting because now that we're being eased out of lockdown um I find myself saying I I don't want to go back to how it was I don't I don't want ever to I don't ever want to join that rat race again I don't ever want to have to live my life in five minute slots in order to get everything in because one of the things that we've really, really benefited from and it's really helped us during lockdown is in, simplify our life beyond our wildest imagination and also to therefore become really focused and engaged in very ordinary, everyday stuff. I just can't tell you how um, contented that can make me feel just the the ordinariness the simplicity it's also really taught me about taking small steps and you know I was reading about you know not linking you know these massive purpose-fueled life-changing goals to our happiness now because you know we're always seeking something new you know there's this it's, it's a bollocks you know that we're seeking to always be happy we can't always be happy you know it's really perverse isn't it because if we was always happy we'd effectively be depressed because we wouldn't know what happiness was because we wouldn't have any baseline to compare it to you know it's just not a it's, it's just not a realistic aim at all and I think the thing about lockdown the thing about taking away all of the distractions because the so you know, everything is about distracting us everything is about distracting us from sitting and having the conversation with the person that we really need to have the conversation with. I mean, I, I, I don't know if this resonates with anybody else, but the person definitely that I speak to the least and probably know the least about at times is actually myself because there are so many things going on. There are so many distractions normally that I don't really have to spend that much time with myself. And I don't think that's terribly healthy at all. 
and that means that we do have to sit in the discomfort um, and it's only by and that's and that's you know and that's the problem because that's that's really where our growth and potential comes from so if you think about i mean i know i'm a little bit random today all over the place but if you think about the fact that even even in our present form most of us i would say the majority of us don't don't uh, achieve anywhere near our full potential and that's the full potential that we are aware of we don't even understand the potential that we're not aware of okay so we don't achieve anywhere um near that and i've completely lost my that's it so sorry about that it's another menopause permit lost my train of thought we don't achieve anywhere near our potential and part of the problem is if we don't um allow ourselves to sit with discomfort and actually really feel really feel that and really go through the shittiness that comes with it we don't grow so we're not reaching our potential anyway and then by this distraction and constantly avoiding the discomfort we are constraining ourselves even further and that's the real irony and i think one of the biggest lessons i'm learning from lockdown is that the avoidance of sitting with yourself the avoidance of being bored the avoidance of slowing down the avoidance of having time the avoidance of having that conversation the avoidance of looking at the stuff you've been trying not to look at for god knows what is actually is actually where where the answers are it's where the potential is and it's just you know it's just taking the tiny steps and it's it's taking the tiny steps and it's doing the boring crappy stuff and it's becoming focused and it's re-engaging just with the simplicity of life without the distractions without being pulled in to the to the comparison the materialism and um and the kind of egocentric world and um I am going to be really, really careful as we transition out of lockdown. Um, and it's not actually because I'm scared of the virus. It's because I am scared um, of going back to a life that, although on paper should look very liberated, I think you end up being incredibly constrained and shackled by your business and distractions. They do exactly the opposite. And I'm not going to go back to that life. So I want to hold on to a lot of the freedom that we have gained through this period. A lot of the lessons learned. Um, and I want to live my life at a much slower pace. A much simpler pace. Um, far away from the madding crowd really in a lot of ways. And I just wanted to share those observations today. Uh, because they'd come to me. And I thought they may be of help to others. Um, you know, as we all are going through this journey. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.